Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I'm laughing because while I was looking for an article, I got to an, uh, a media outlet that I usually don't uh, access, and it came a little uh, screen over there and says, sign up for blah, 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 subscribe for to receive whatever. And the option was, yes, I subscribe, and the other one, I'm not wise. <laughs> Which one I picked? I'm not wise, bang. <laughs> I'm not wise. No, I'm not. It's okay. You can keep it. But I'm going to use this article because that's the way the Romanians are weasels. So I have two articles. One about the Calibre cruise missiles in the Black Sea. And the other one, um, one of the uh, Bakhmut suburbs fell under Wagner Group's um, dominance. They occupied it. So let's start with the Calibre cruise missiles. That's a very short article. It comes from Ukrainska Pravda. Today, the 25th. 5th of February 2023. I don't know, I'm always about to say 2025, what the hell. For the first time in several days, Russia deploys caliber missile carriers in the Black Sea. The Russian invaders have deployed a ship with caliber cruise missiles in the Black Sea. The last such a ship was at sea was five days ago. Source, Natalia Hemenyuk, head of the Joint Press Center of Defense Forces of Ukraine's south during the 24-7 national joint newscast. Quote from Hemenyuk, a missile carrier was added last night. The situation remains quite stable. Now there are nine ships in the Black Sea. They have doubled their ship grouping since yesterday. This may indicate that further expansion of the ship's grouping is being prepared. Yes, pre get ready for rain. Unfortunately, one missile carrier, a frigate, is equipped with combat-ready eight caliber type missiles. According to the military naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, there has not been a single missile carrier in the Black Sea for last for the last four days. Well, now they have eight, right? And they doubled their ship grouping since yesterday. Well, usually these guys, when they bring caliber cruise missiles in the Black Sea, it takes about um, two days to launch a uh, massive missile attack. Um, we'll see what's gonna be now. Uh, the last one they had was about what? Uh, almost a week and a half ago, not even a week, a week ago. Um, some 64 or something, 61, 64, 64 and they shut down 51. Anyway, but they caused a lot of damage in which in my opinion, uh, an assessment I don't think that uh, nine missiles or ten missiles or how many many escaped 13 14 co uh, could have caused this mass much damage anyway expect a uh, an attack i would say in two days this is what the russians did since the beginning of this uh, military operation brought the caliber cruise missiles in the black sea the ship's carrier the caliber carriers fuck two days done all right let's go to the other one the ones that uh, made me made me uh, confirm that I'm not wise. <laughs> yeah, let's see. There. The Eastern Herald, India's first international news journal. <laughs> they just the pop down here, pam, pam, pam. <laughs> Subscribe. I'm not wise. No, I'm not. <laughs> but it was funny. I gotta get, give it to them. So this is from Sunday, February 26, because over there is already um, the next day. But what's going on? Los Angeles. Soldiers of the uh, private military company, contractor Wagner, captured the village of, of Jagodnoye near Bakhmut. The gar garrison of the armed forces of Ukraine was in a difficult situation. So we have a few guys here with uh, probably over there is whatever they say. Uh, I don't know what what's that but maybe a uh, russian speaking individual could figure things out or a ukrainian speaking on february 25 after heavy fighting that lasted several days wagner pmc fighters captured the village of jagodnoye so let's see if we find jagodnoye all right i had some difficulties finding that place but i found it because i work in a business and uh, <clears throat> it's not uh, by the, the, the name of Yagov Nove or whatever it is. It goes by a different name because probably that's the Russian term 
and it goes by a different uh, uh, term. So I found it by looking at the picture where those guys are uh, right here. You see these guys? So these guys are them in front of this right here. And, and here, this is like an R, R, whatever this is. And I think this is an A, whatever it is. That's one, two, three, four, five, six letters or possibly one, two, three, four, five. So I went on Google Map and this is what they gave me when I put the name over here. They gave me this and this is the spelling here, right down there. And that spelling, one, two, three, four, five, could be, and I think it is, this right here. Because that looks like an R turned the other way around. So if I go here, that's an R turned around. That's an A, like an A over there in the middle. And I consider it an A, right? Right in the middle over there. But I don't know what that is. But if you look over here, that's it right here. And this is like an E or a C. And if I go over here, that's an E or a C. So, yes, that's what it is. And this is Bakhmut, right here. So that's the area, because they say it's a northwestern. I looked over it and said, oh, what the hell? It's a northwestern. If I go back here, they say the village of Yagodnoye, which is the northwestern suburb of Bakhmut, Artemovsk. So, Bakhmut, northwest, right here. Yabadaba do. Back in business. And Bakhmut is right there. Soledar is north, whatever that's done already. So let's move back to the article. This is reported by quasi military audiences, citing information from Wagner PMC founder Yevgeny Prigozhin. It should be noted that what happened significantly affects the operational situation on the entire northern sector of the front in this area. The command of the armed forces of Ukraine tried to maintain the defense on the line Dubovo, Vasilivka, Yagodnoye, Stupki station in Artemovsk, having withdrawn from Berkovka the day before. However, the Ukrainian troops could not resist the assault, despite the transfer of additional forces. A dam was even dynamited on one of the reservoirs, reservoirs to slow down the progression of the musicals, musicians, I'm sorry, musicians from Wagner. Today, the Ukrainian armed forces garrison located in Artemovsk, which is Bakhmut. Artemovsk is the Russian uh, term for uh, Bakhmut, is in a difficult situation. The ring of encirclement around the city is slowly but surely shrinking. In the direction of Donetsk, according to quasi-military audien uh, audiences, Russian assault groups advanced towards Krasnohorivka, located northwest of Avdivka. That's another problem here. If they manage to take Krasnohorivka, they will, this will lead to the encirclement of the APU grouping in Avdivka, which is eight, which in ages have been transformed into a fortress city from, uh, from the territory of the, which Donetsk is bombarded. The Russian artillery fires continuously on the enemy. The air forces even use 500 kilogram bombs well that's um that's the <laughs> information on this little thing so if this little thing and if avdivka which i don't know if i'm going to be able to see it here avdivka is somewhere south but uh right here this is avdivka so bakhmut avdivka if these two fall right here they're going to be encircled here the uh the, the ukrainians very important to go to Krematorsk, Slovyansk, and towards uh, west. Oh my. So, these were the two articles, and uh, I'm glad I found that little thing. Uh, but hey, what do you want? If you work in a business, uh, you can find shit. <laughs> so, uh, that's according to Wagner Group. So, uh, I saw some articles from um, the other side of the lying spectrum. And they said that, oh, actually, uh, it's not uh, done. We don't know. No, yes. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Whatever it is, I guarantee you that's going to be done in uh, two days. The other side of the line, line spectrum will come and say, actually, yeah. But hey, we regrouped and we're winning. Yeah, we know you're winning. Yes, the map says something else, but you're still winning like always. You've been winning since... 
the beginning of time. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.